So a question I often get is, Daniel, will our process work for me if I have trauma? And also, will our process help people with their trauma? And the answer, I am proud to say, because I love results and efficiency, is 100% Yes, and I can speak from experience because anybody that knows my story knows that I went through something and when I came out of it, not only did I have crippling anxiety, but I had crippling complex PTSD, trauma. And so now both are virtually just gone. My anxiety is down by 100% and my trauma symptoms are down by about 90%. But that gap between 100 and 90 gave us a huge insight into the interconnectedness of anxiety and trauma and what is which is which and how to heal both simultaneously. And I'll explain to you why this is possible. So for those of you who know a bit about uh, the work that I do, what I say is that anxiety is essentially that your nervous system has crashed. And when a system crashes, it's fragile. And when a system is fragile, you push on it with pressure. And instead of just feeling pressure, which is what a strong system would feel, instead of just pressure, you feel pain. You get this spike more than you should. If you need a root canal, your teeth are fragile. So you bite into a carrot. Now, with healthy teeth, you should just feel the pressure of the teeth. But you don't just feel the pressure. You feel this spike, which we call pain. But that's not coming from the carrot. The carrot is just pushing on your teeth, and then the fragile teeth release this extra. That extra is the fragility. It's the pain in the teeth, but it's also our anxiety. So now let's look at an overly simplified understanding of trauma. So one way to look at trauma is that something incredibly horribly painful or scary happens. And we have this thing in our body called Pavlovian links, which is basically if something horrible, scary happens in our bodies, we get this link that says like, don't ever do that again. Or if you ever see that, get the hell out of there. So what happens is people go through this horribly painful, scary situations. And now anytime they see something that reminds them of that thing, they go, oh God, it's happening, it's happening. And they get scared. But right now when people feel this trauma, it's not two out of 10 or three out of 10. Sometimes people feel it at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 out of 10. They can have full-blown panic attacks. And if you don't know what's going on, you think, oh, that's, that's the trauma. That's the trauma. But take a closer look. Yes, if you've had a horrible, painful, scary experience in your life or multiple, you have these links in your system such that if you see something that reminds you of that, it'll remind you of that and you'll go, oh, it's happening. I'm scared. And your body will be stressed. It thinks it's back there again. But how much you feel it isn't just the trauma. It's also how strong is your nervous system. Because the trauma, if you think you're in danger or something, you'll feel some stress. Oh, God, that person reminds me of this or it's happening again. You'll feel some stress in your system. And if you have a fragile system, you won't just feel the pressure of the trauma on your system. Because you have a fragile system, you'll go from pressure to pain, the extra. Does that make sense? Yeah, the trauma can create some stress at like 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, maybe 4 out of 10. And if you have a strong nervous system, it stays there. But think about it. If you have a fragile nervous system and you push on it with 3 or 4 out of 10, instead of 4 out of 10, you get the spike, the 6, the 7, the 8, the 9 out of 10. But the eights and the nines and the ten, that's not the trauma. The trauma is the zero to like three to four out of ten, and the rest is the fragile nervous system. Does that make sense? And trust me, I know the difference because before I applied this system to myself and had a strong nervous system, I would see situations that reminded me of my ex, and my system would just redline. I would go into eight, nine, ten out of ten, just terror. Now, I have a strong nervous system. So now I can see something that like reminds me of that. In fact, this happened, there's like two and a half, there's three weeks ago, I was spending time with a woman and she did something that sort of, you know, reminded me of a behavior of my ex. And when I saw it, I went, oh, 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 oh you know, I, that's, that's familiar. I know that. I don't like that. And I felt my system contract. I felt some stress, some pressure, about two out of 10 or three out of 10 for about five minutes, but not nine out of 10 for five hours. Why? It was the same thing, same stimulus, same thing that traumatized me before. Why? Because now that I'm just feeling the pressure of that system, of that situation, but 
because I have a strong system, I just feel the pressure and not the pain. Now, if you don't know this, of course, you see something that reminds you of the past and your system redlines to like eight or nine out of 10. And of course you think, oh, I'm being traumatized. That thing was scary back then and it's scary right now. And it looks like that thing's creating all of that fear in your system. But I'm saying, look closely like a slow motion camera and peel back the layers. What if that scary situation that you saw that reminds you of your past, reminds you of your past, but it's in the past, it's not happening right now. And so, yeah, you go, oh, and you feel it. Maybe two out of 10 or three out of 10. But what if because you have a fragile system, that three out of 10 goes up to nine out of 10. But that's not the trauma. That's the fragile nervous system, which we can completely repair and create a strong nervous system such that even if you don't heal the trauma, now you can go through life, see something that reminds you of your painful past and feel it and go, oh, I do not like that. This feels ultra familiar. I don't feel safe, but it's like two out of 10, three out of 10, instead of nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10. And then you can still have some trauma, but it doesn't rule your life. You're basically free of it. That's what I am right now. It's still there a little bit, but it's quiet like a church mouse instead of like a crazy lion trying to rip my head off. So to answer the question from before, not only can this program work if you have trauma, it's not only going to lower your anxiety, but also the lower the symptoms of your trauma. So it's like the world's best two for one. Come in for one, get fix the other. Okay. So if you like the idea of not just feeling less anxious, but having the effects of your painful traumatic past go down and down and down to the point where they're no longer a roaring lion, but just a little, little tiny church mouse. That's a horrible mouse impression. But anyway, you get the point. If you want to solve two things at once, and believe me, it's not only possible, it's simple, then please come find us because we can get you that.